I think you not love me. I'm done. Rose is really angry with me. I've never seen, I've never seen her like this, ever. I'm worried. Right, so hello and welcome back to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. So last time out, we looked at part five of Big Ed and his Filipina girlfriend, Rose. After a rocky start to their time together in the Philippines, Big Ed added to the relationship's issues by finally admitting to Rose that despite her telling him several times over the three months the couple had known each other that it was her dream to have another child, he was planning on getting a vasectomy when he got back to the US and didn't want to have any more kids. Rose took some time for herself to think about things and met Big Ed back at the hotel the day after, where she went off on him. She listed all the things Ed had lied to her about and all the times he'd insulted her or embarrassed her and finally broke up with him. Today, we're going to be looking at the aftermath of the breakup as well as what's been happening since Ed returned home to the US. I think you not love my, my son. I think you not big time and effort on my son. I think, always think, and uh, I feel you not tell me the truth. So I feel um, very, 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 very hurt because you not see how you treat me. I always give you a chance, right? But you not deserve. I didn't realize you were this upset. This is a bit of a shock to me. I'm very shocked. I didn't expect this. What a surprise. No apology, no effort to make amends, just telling her how he feels. You know, after everything that he's put her through and having it all laid out in front of him, only Big Ed could sit there and say that he's surprised that he hasn't been given his 100th second chance of the holiday. Like they haven't even been in Palawan for 72 hours yet and I've already done three videos on all the terrible things that he's done. I fell in love with you on Facebook and I came here with love in my heart. I bought a ring. My plan when we left here was to go back to Manila and to ask you to marry me. My intentions were real. You know, I don't understand this bit. I find it such a strange response. Like, Rose didn't say anything close to suggesting that his intentions weren't genuine. He didn't realize the relationship wasn't real. He treated her like trash and she realized her self-worth. Yeah, I know you are real, but your, your, your behavior is not good. This is the last time uh, you give me a hurt because I'm done. Yeah. Please change your behavior because you another see another girl and I think you give her again what you hurt me. All right. So you think I'm bad. I'm just, I'm a bad person, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes you are. How is he gonna listen to her spend the last three minutes listing all these terrible things that he's done and then turn around and be like, oh, so you think I'm a bad person now? Where's that come from? <laughs> like, what? I'm so glad you just turned around and was like, yes, yes you are. You know, I think my favorite part about all of this is you can physically see his ego being crushed. Taking relationship advice from someone 31 years younger than him after he spent all this time talking down to her like she's a child, that's gotta hurt. I feel hurt and I feel sad because um, Ed did not accepted his own mistakes. I miss my son because I leave him, but it poor uh, Ed and I feel sad. You know, I think deep down, Rose genuinely did want this to work out. I think the fact that Ed had enough money to support her and her son, and the fact that she could have lived in the US with him, probably were a big part of her initial interest, but I really don't think she was just gonna take the money in the green card and run. Like, I think she really was looking for a loving relationship with Ed, and really did want to start a family with him. I think both of those things were enough for her to look past his physical flaws in the beginning, but I think she was just hoping that there was a good person underneath it all. And unfortunately, there just wasn't. I done to this relationship when Ed and I met online, I like Ed because he gave me respect. But after I meet Ed in person, I realize uh, who is a uh, true Ed right now. 
emit my croaking in the future. You know, I can't imagine it's going to take long because Rose is absolutely killing it on social media at the moment. She's got a YouTube channel now with a quarter of a million subscribers and she's got over half a million on Instagram. Her DMs are going to be absolutely flooded. I mean, even Big Ed's getting a decent amount of attention. He said on one of his Instagram lives recently that he's had 37 marriage proposals since going on the show. First of all, how tragic is it that he's counting? But more importantly, if there are at least 37 people watching this show thinking this little divvy will make good husband material, then there is hope out there for all of us. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I can't hear her anymore. It just hurt, it just, it hurts me too much. I mean, I'm shocked. I waited 28 years, you know, to find love again. Maybe she just needs time. I need to let her calm down. Let her calm down. Of course, this is all Rose's illogical womanly emotions, isn't it, Ed? Just come out and say it with your chest, you sinister little misogynist. I love Rose, and I don't want our relationship to end like this. So I'm going to go back to our room and um, see if she'll talk to me. She's gone, her stuff's gone. She's really gone. She said she wanted to leave, but she didn't even say goodbye. But to be fair, he didn't really give her a chance, did he, given he stormed out after she dumped him? <sighs> it just hit me. I don't know, I'm just upset. 28 years is a long time to be single. And then you find something that you think is real to later find out that it's not. I really don't like seeing people upset, but I really don't know why he keeps saying it wasn't real. He's talking like Rose turned around and said, I don't actually have any feelings for you. It was all for the fame and the money. But this whole thing is on him. The only things that weren't real were the things that he lied about. It's so strange. It's like he creates these fantasies to completely avoid the fact that this is entirely his fault. I need to try to put my life back together. I want to reach out to my daughter, Tiffany. I want her to know that this was about me following my heart. It was about me trying to find love for me. And in the end, you know, I get nothing. <laughs> I get nothing. Well, maybe rewatch the last 10 seconds back, count the number of times that you said the word me, and maybe you'll figure out why. I really thought that Rose was the one. I wanted to believe so badly that it was real but I was, I was wrong. You know, I've been following his Instagram just to keep up with the story and his comment section is filled with people criticizing him. But whenever someone asks him why he's getting so much hate, rather than acknowledging anything anyone is saying, he replies saying that they're all bots. It's like he can't come around to the idea that people actually dislike him for the way that he's behaved on the show over the last few weeks. And it's not even like the stuff on camera is the only thing that he's being criticized for. There was this meme page on Instagram that was hyping up Ed loads and being really, really rude about Rose. And apparently some 90 Day Fiance account released screenshots apparently showing Ed admitting to owning the meme page. So apparently it was him posting the entire time. How weird and tragic is that? And he's not even trying to hide how petty he is. He did a video on Instagram the other day and he was like, hey guys, I've just woken up and realized my Lysol matches my mouthwash. I wonder what that says about my bad breath. He's obviously making reference to the time that he gave Rose a toothbrush and mouthwash and told her that her breath smelled. But he found out in that episode that it was caused by an ulcer and he ended up apologizing loads for it. Like that, he could have passed off as unintended and ill thought out. But this is just straight up bullying. You know what's most ironic about all this as well? He brings up bullying and wanting to stomp out bullying on social media literally every single day. Now don't get me wrong, I completely agree with the message. Like I've definitely made some harsh jokes in these videos about Ed. But he can't be posting videos like that and then an hour later going on live talking about anti-bullying. It's just so hypocritical. I don't know whether he's just refusing to admit that there's valid criticism against him or whether he actually believes his own lies. But either way, this whole thing is mad and I'm sure there's still more drama to come. The episodes haven't finished yet and there's still the tell 
still to come where Ed and Rose have to be reunited to talk about all the drama. So stay tuned because there's still plenty to look forward to. Unfortunately though, that is all we have time for today. So if you want to find out what happens next, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. As always, links to my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch and other social media will be down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.